What's up, guys? Chris Kennedy here. Uh, I wanted to a- answer a question really fast that some be asked uh, concerning the finances of my homeless ninja trips. So, uh, I've done a handful of these homeless ninja trips. Uh, for those of you who have seen the videos, where I basically go to a new gym that I've never been to, and usually it's to try a martial art that I'm inexperienced with or haven't ever trained before. And then I just train for a while, and then I come back home. And I usually train for uh, two to six weeks. So we'll say like a month on average. Um, so somebody asked me how much this costs and if I could go over finances. So the short answer is you want to have at least $1,000 uh, to spare to go on one of these trips. And I'll break that down for you right now. I'll do it pretty quickly. But first of all, before you go on any of these trips, uh, and let me just specify, uh, I'm not talking about all my trips because, uh, for example, I have one of my homeless ninja videos is, is in Thailand. And if you're going to travel overseas to pretty much the other side of the world, it's going to cost more money than, you know, driving, driving the next state over. I live in Utah, by the way. So going over to, um, Thailand for a video is going to cost you, you know, going to cost me a lot more money than, than going over to Nevada. So, uh, first of all, so I'll leave that one out. And then, um, I've also done one homeless ninja video here in Utah and that one was obviously really cheap because I didn't have to go anywhere and I could just stay at home while I visited this new gym. So I've done homeless ninja trips. Not all of these have been recorded. I haven't made videos about all of these, but I've been to, uh, Colorado, Washington, California, Arizona, um, and Nevada. Yeah. So I've been to those five other States outside of Utah where I've done a little homeless ninja trips. And before you go on any of those trips, the first thing I do is I just go get my car inspected. You can go get a traveler's inspection where they just make sure your car is fit to, to, you know, travel a long distance. Um, the next thing, and that usually costs like, like usually less than 50 bucks. That's not too expensive. That's something I always do. The next thing that, uh, the next main thing you're going to have to worry about as far as finances go is uh, gas. And I, I've never traveled more than 12 hours on a homeless ninja trip, 12 hours to a gym. And so, I don't know, let's say you travel 12 hours to a gym and then you are in a new, completely new city somewhere like in California and you're going to stay there for a month and then drive back home. Well, it's going to be a couple tanks of gas getting there, usually two tanks of gas. Staying there for a month, you're not really traveling around a lot. You're just kind of staying in the same city for that whole month, mostly just training. But it's still going to probably be about two tanks of gas during that month. Uh, and that's being generous, maybe just one tank. And then, uh, driving back home, uh, usually another couple of tanks of gas. So I would say I've spent usually about, and my gas gets, my car gets pretty good gas mileage. So usually about $200 in gas I'll spend on one of these trips. Um, maybe a little bit more. Um, while there, uh, food is the other main expense. And, um, I would say expect to spend about $10 a day on food. So that's about $300 if I'm staying somewhere for a month. And, you know, if, if you're single and you want to, you know, meet some girls while you're there or something, then you might want to go on some dates and uh, that might cost you a little bit extra. So you might want to set some more aside uh, if you're planning on doing something like that. But if you're just going to show up and, you know, go to the supermarket and get cheap food every day to eat, uh, no more than 10 bucks a day uh, you're going to have to spend. Uh, while you're there, uh, any decent gym is going to charge usually around $100 a month, give or take. So expect to spend an extra 100 bucks there. So you know, five, six, seven hundred dollars. Uh, I would say like seven hundred dollars maximum is what you should be expecting to spend. Uh, if you were to, or you know, is what I would spend on a homeless ninja trip. But I, if you, if any of you guys are interested, and specifically that person who asked about doing one of these trips and what the cost is, if you're planning on doing one of these trips, uh, definitely have at least a thousand dollars set aside. And the reason for that is, in one of my trips, I was driving down to California, and uh, my car started to have problems and I had to uh, basically pull over and um, get a tow and bring it to a shop. And that cost me a couple hundred extra dollars to get my car fixed. Then I was able to continue my trip to California and finish the trip. But you want to have some spare money. You want to have a couple extra dollars for safety. So have a thousand dollars set aside. Expect to spend at least 500 if you take one of these trips. Uh, And they also, the person who asked this question also asked how I used to do these trips and I used to be in the army national guard. And so, uh, there was a time when I, uh, didn't have a regular civilian job and I was just doing volunteer work with the national guard. And so once a month you're required to go, uh, 
you were required to go to work with the National Guard. But there were also other opportunities. You could go volunteer for a, a week of something that needed done. Hey, man. I'll be right there. So, um, sorry, it's one of my coaches. Uh, class is about to start. So, uh, yeah, so what I used to do is I would just basically work for a week, and that would get me like a 1000 bucks, and I'd go on a homeless ninja trip. And then I'd come back and I'd work for another week and that was fun. Um, another way you can do these homeless ninja trips is most cities have volunteer studies that you can do, clinical research. Just Google clinical research in my area or something like that, or clinical research followed by the name of your city. Most cities, most states I should say, have a clinical research facility where they'll pay you to show up and basically do some sort of experimental drug on you. You know, they're like, oh, this is some drug for cancer patients that we're testing. It's not legal yet. You'll show up and they'll give you like $5,000 for a week or two of just sitting there and getting drugs. And that can, can be sketchy sometimes, but I've done a couple of those to support homeless ninja trips. Uh, so that's another idea for you. Um, yeah, and the other idea is you can start your own business like me. I, I uh, own a, a martial arts gym, so... Um, if you own your own martial arts gym, once in a while you can tell your assistant coaches you're taking over for two weeks. I'm going on a trip. I'll be back in two weeks. So there's a few ideas, a few ways to do it. Anyway, guys, if you have any more questions, please let me know. Um, and uh, uh, happy new year, I guess. And good luck and peace.